Hey guys, happy fall. The leaves are pretty much off the trees, which means we are going to get snow very soon. Our temperatures are dipping down <laughs> to the low 30s, and so it's really not far out. We actually wanted to share with you guys a little bit what's been keeping us busy and what's been throwing off our video count, you know, because we keep apologizing, but we don't really explain exactly what's going on. So we figured we'd talk about what's keeping us. <laughs> this right here is his childhood pretty much box. my childhood in a box <laughs> for those of you who were lucky enough not to grow up in the time with the vhs tapes that is pretty much what a childhood looks like um we have a lot of these videos and some of them were moldy from down in my parents basement and let's just say i have probably about 300 hours <laughs> into it and i think we've spent probably around 800 dollars on hardware VCRs. and vcrs yeah everything it's it's been a bit of a project but what we've been doing is actually restoring them and converting them to digital yeah because we want to be able to have them forever so you always keep multiple backups and everything these things were not meant to last forever and especially if they get moldy they degrade and you don't get those memories back you don't and so i thought it'd be kind of funny i went to my parents house and out in their garage they have what i'm pretty sure is their first camera from 1990. which it comes with this really nice hard case yeah i mean go figure most cameras don't come with these these days and so i mean <laughs> this is what you would be doing i mean can you imagine trying to walk around and record your kids with that these days i mean there's just a little bit of a difference when you compare your phone <laughs> it's, it's with a little bit lighter shoulder unit like is it like is it just a little bit lighter? <laughs> uh, and so, you know, I mean, just the battery alone, I think, is about a pound. Yeah, it's about is what a pound. We looked it up. And my father-in-law tried to charge the battery, but it's yeah. We were thinking about oh, if we could get this to work, but there's no power cable or Big anything. Big surprise! The battery from 1990 did not want to charge. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> shocker. <laughs> So we thought it would be kind of fun to share with you guys a little bit of my childhood because I'm number four of eight kids growing up and I'm born and raised right here, North Pole, Alaska. And it's been so fun watching him grow up and even his brother's kids are having a lot of fun seeing and they're like, that's my dad? Yeah. So here's just a brief little compilation of a few things from my childhood, including sledding off of the roof, which... which it freaks me out because there's this wooden <laughs> post and instead of making the path further off, there's like this much distance between the sled it and the post. It makes it more exciting, right? <laughs> well, here's that. <laughs>
important to capture the memories, whether you have Just this, your phone in your pocket? Just your phone. Because, you know, when you think about it, we started off with these gigantic <laughs> shoulder units, and I think they only went away like 20 years ago is when we started <laughs> phasing to things like this, little disc camera. This is another one I'm working on restoring and stuff And FYI, from. if you want to restore these, make sure you have a handy cam that works so you can finalize the disc. Otherwise, you got to download software and everything. So... Luckily, my parents still have it, but they lost the charger for the battery. So and we have to wait for the charger. We've got a battery and a charger order. And then we can finalize the discs and the computer can read it. Because I haven't been able to rip those. So learn yet. from our mistakes. <laughs> but w whether you're recording on something from forever ago or something more recent, which or, these things are already out, or phased out. Or just your phone. Or just phones. It's good to remember to stay in the moment and not forget yourself, <laughs> you know, because you want to make sure you're in there enjoying the kids, you know, and that's one of the reasons we really push these little one R's so hard is because being able to just hold that and, and you actually get to be part of the moment. Walk along, have a conversation as they're riding the bike. And we've recorded so many things we weren't intending on recording. Yeah, it's crazy because you got a full 360 <laughs> video. You, I, you catch so-and-so right over there when they just manage to do something cool or <laughs> fall down. I mean, it's pretty amusing, but, uh, one of the other things we're going to touch on later on when we start looking more at the cameras like the one we're recording on, which is the, the Canon M6 Mark II, is when is it good to still get something large? Because, I mean, these are so much more convenient to just stuff in your pocket or bag or whatever and capture things. So we'll cover that um, and kind of try and help anybody who's kind of on the fence of actually getting a dedicated camera. And uh, also awesome news, we ordered a GoPro 9. So we're gonna yeah. do a comparison between the 4K mod on the Insta360. The one inch. The one inch. We're gonna do the uh, a video comparing the one inch and the nine, GoPro 9. So if you're on the fence, if you ordered an Insta360 and you've seen the GoPro 9, we're hoping to answer your questions a little bit. And if you, if you have any suggestions on some comparisons oh, yeah. you'd like to see, please let us know in the comments. Because the GoPro Hero 9, it records in 5K. I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty much a direct competitor to the one inch mod. And so and that is something. And they even call their little lens things mods. Yeah, where you change out to the, <laughs> the uh, max view or the super view, whatever they call it. So we've got one of those ordered. We didn't order the <laughs> lens mod change out. Um, I didn't really see where that was on the site, but um, they were out of the media mod, which was $80 versus $10 for the little <laughs> connector on this. But I figure we'll try and go through and get to actually compare a lot of that. So that'll be something fun coming up. So we really appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we're going to do how he restores the videos on a different uh, video. We'll put and it in the I'll link. Pop, yeah, we'll pop a link right up here once it's done and uploaded. We'll try and make sure these are <laughs> uploaded within a day of each other. And that way, you guys, if you have some in the basement and you want to surprise yep. your parents Whether your parents Christmas, have it or whether you want to restore it for your kids and grandkids. And you don't want to pay for the service because yeah, it costs Yeah, it can be like $20, 25 dollars a tape. Or, you know, if we, Patty's even been bugging me, telling me that I need to start up a business of doing the restoration. So if that's he's, something I should do, leave that in the comments. I mean, maybe I will. He's really will. good at it. Um, in our restoration video, we'll be glad to show you the before and after. And Because we watch YouTube videos and we followed their directions and I didn't get results <laughs> I liked. I mean, if we pop it up, I'll show you over here. Well, I'm not going to tell you which side. I'll, I'll mix it up. Um, <laughs> the before and after when I listened to the YouTube and when I came up with my own idea. So maybe it's better and maybe other people have been able to do it with the other method. I'm not certain. But let me know what you think. So if you, if you, want, to, if you want that video, please remember to subscribe so you can see our future videos. Like and please feel free to leave a comment. We try to respond as quick as we can and we will hopefully see you next week. Definitely. And here's some of the fun we've been having this fall. I, one of those ones, we love to share videos of the kiddos because, well, they're kind of our life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. Yeah, berries. Oh, boy. I would like to show you one. Sponge here. Yeah, is it? Yeah, but everything's dead. That way it's so spooky. Oh, boy. It's not dead, it's just getting ready for winter. Almost all the leaves are off the trees.
you guys doing? Whoa! Yeah. Oh, you like bouncing in the leaves? Woo, look at you go. Whoa. That was close to the edge. Getting dizzy yet? <laughs> Good job.